my expectations is, you know, just doing my job and everyone, you know, being disciplined with doing their, doing their job. And, you know, I wanted to challenge myself to, you know, always be the most consistent player on the field and um, learning to refresh the next play and um, just continue to move on. And when things break down, I just know what to do here and try to eliminate negative plays. And I think today we did a pretty good job and uh, we just got to continue to work on it and keep getting better for you know, the, the weeks to come. It felt like early in the game, especially in the first half when you guys were a little bit more uh, pass oriented, um, Antoine was in it running back a lot compared to Roman. What, what kind of went to that? Was that like a pass protection thing? What kind of went to that? Um, I think uh, I think we rotate the backs. Uh, you know, I don't really know what you know for. I mean, sometimes we want Roman running the ball. Sometimes we want Tuan running the ball. Sometimes they, they just need a break. Um, so. I don't think it had anything, anything to do with that. And I think like in the first half, it was like 70% pass. They put a lot on you. How'd you feel you did? I think we, we did all right. I think the main thing is just everyone doing their job. And as long as, you know, I'm just taking what the defense gives us and our receivers are doing their jobs. I feel like, you know, it's, I don't really feel like it's pressure. I just feel like that's what we needed to do in, in the beginning of the game to, you know, operate our offense good, so. Does it feel weird to see Corey wearing number two? Yeah, that was a surprise. And <laughs> it's crazy because on Thursday's practice, he wore number 84. Really? So I think he was trying to surprise everybody. <laughs> and I think our walkthrough yesterday, or yeah, yesterday, Coach Locks uh, kind of spilled the beans. And he was like, yeah, Corey's wearing number two now. Mm -hmm. But we thought it was a joke, and we came today, and it was, it was cool. Well, uh, number two is pretty good. But number one looked like you, you sought him out on some hot routes. There's one to the left side that didn't work out, and one on the right side looked like a zero cover. It went man-to-man, -man, and you immediately went that way. It, it, I'm sure you Number saw that. Yeah. 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 Uh, that's something that you know, instant recognition from both of you? Do you have that with um, him yet? Yes, yeah, sir. That's, a, a, you know, obviously that's chemistry. And, um, you know, even with, with all our receivers, we're always continuing to work better and mm -hmm. trying to build that timing and trying mm -hmm. to get more sharp on that timing. So. Yeah. Speaking of Caden, he mentioned to us after he had his, his drop, you kind of came over to him and said, you know, don't worry about it. Like, yeah. how have you felt like your leadership role and kind of getting these new guys acclimated? Like, how is that so important to the team? Um, yeah, I think it's it's very important for, you know, all of us to encourage each other, you know, when times are, are going, when times aren't good and when times are going good. So I think that's just a testament to our brotherhood and really every everyone on our team is like that. So. And I'm happy that KP made it up on this on this touchdown. As a football player, does week one feel different at all? Like you get more nervous, more excited, like, feel strange? Uh, yeah, I feel like uh, yeah, you just get more anxious. I don't think you're, you get more nervous, and you know, obviously, you know what uh, you see on film, but you know, it's season opening, so you never know what they've been working on. They don't know what we've been working on. And it's just an anxious feeling, like you know, you want to get the first play over with to see what front they're in or see what if they're. And two high safety or one high safety, what kind of leverages? You know what I mean? It's just so much things going on that you just you're anxious for because all you remember was the game last year. So, did you know that you wanted a moment with the student section like you had after your touchdown, or oh, that just yeah, worked out yeah. that way? I mean, like I said earlier, you know, I was it gave it gives us a lot of energy when we see the whole stadium packed and uh, when we scored, you know, it was just going loud and there was right there cheering, so I had to you know, show them love for sure. Did you guys see that Loxley ad before it was on the scoreboard? The Loxley ad? Which yeah, he was he, singing. Playing the drums? He was singing and playing Phil Collins' song about the light show that they oh, were Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, Lox. Yeah, that was crazy. But did, you guys didn't see that before it was on <laughs> no, the scoreboard? No, we didn't see that. Yeah, it was pretty good. That.